You're a bitch. <laughs> what do you say to you? Huh? There was a secret service right here. What do you say? I don't know. You want to act like a big shot? Let's talk about this guy. And Donald Trump revealing his newest weapon today, Governor Chris Christie, and the surprise endorsement, saying he's now behind Trump for president. I can guarantee you that the one person that Hillary and Bill Clinton do not want to see on that stage come next September is Donald Trump. They know how to run the standard political playbook against uh, junior senators um, and run them around the block. They do not know the playbook with Donald Trump because he is rewriting the playbook. There is no better fighter than Donald Trump. Former governor of New Jersey, Chris Christie. Let me tell you something, everybody. The grift from this family is breathtaking. It's breathtaking. Jared Kushner and Ivanka Kushner walk out of the White House and months later get $2 billion from the Saudis. $2 billion from the Saudis. You think it's because he's some kind of investing genius? Or do you think it's because he was sitting next to the President of the United States for four years doing favors for the Saudis? That's your money. That's your money he stole. And gave it to his family. You know what that makes us? A banana republic. That's what it makes us. Who only abandoned the Trump ship after it was sinking. His newest target? Detroit Lions head coach Dan Campbell. Here is Christie with Chris Mad Dog Russo. Uh, do you have a problem personally of Campbell rubbing it in with uh, you know an eligible receiver situation in the second half when he's up by 4,000 points, which he did with his offensive lineman just to get back at the Cowboys from a year ago? Do you have a problem with that as a fan? No, that's, that's Dan Campbell. He's got no class. Never has. So oh, really? It's fine. It's, it's fine. Look, I, Dan Campbell, that's the way he is. Um, and what goes around comes around, you know. There'll be a time when. So when you were bothered. So you were turned. bothered by it. Okay. Well, I just think it, I just think it was. Look, and I think that it's misdirected. You want to take your, you know, your peak out over that, uh, while you're, you know, beating the hell out of these guys and rub it in. I don't think that's what pros do, but it's 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 his prerogative. Um, it's the reputation that he'll carry around. And quite frankly, I think most people think that's his rep now anyway. Wow. He appeared peeved. When the Lions beat the piss out of the Dallas Cowboys. All right. So we heard all of this. And what was Dan Campbell's response? Chris Pussy was really mad at you about the Cowboys. <laughs> Being mean to the Cowboys. Um, so you ran up the score. I'm sure you heard the comments. What's your reaction to the being mean? I, I, no, it's the only thing. The last time somebody called me classes, I was drinking wine out of a bottle. All right. <laughs> So, um, but no, I'm, it's all good. I'm not worrying about it. Hilarious and also very well put. Dan Campbell, over the, uh, yeah, the course of a few years has gone from like this, you know, meathead football guy to incredibly likable. Does winning do that? Of course. 1000% yes. Are the Detroit Lions the best team in the NFC North? Maybe. It's between them and the Vikings as of this taping. My Bears certainly are not there. And the Packers are good. Just not on the Vikings and Lions level. Again, at this point in the season, anything could change. But what I find to be very interesting is Chris Christie does have a history of having some sessions in sports radio. If you don't remember, here's a quick clip from yesteryears. Governor, next time you want to sit on a beach that is closed to the entire world except you, yeah. you put your fat ass in a car and go hey. to one that's open to all your constituents. Oh, well, you know, Not just you and yours. Interesting, Mike. You know what? That What's beach, that? that? What's beach, that, Gov? You know, Mike, <laughs> I, love, I love getting calls from communists in Montclair. Communists in, in Montclair. Montclair. You know, You're a bully, you Governor, are, you know, now, and I don't what? like bullies. You know what? And listen, I'm not the one who came on the air. Hey, hold on, Mike. Mike, I'm not the guy who came on the air, <laughs> swore on the air. Who swore? And so you did. I, 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 kick the heck out yeah, of you. You know, you're ah. swearing on the air, Mike. You're, you're, you're a bum. 
You know, so you let's have so let's just go, 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 but, oh bad optics, okay? Mike. And I'd love to come look at your optics every day, buddy. Oh, that's you know what, and you know what, Mike. What matters is what you do. That's what matters. Now, what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> what I just Word. did was stop polluting the airways with a guy like that. Now, listen, these guys are going to come on and notice they're both from Montclair. Well, you you know what's so funny? Can I just say? Yeah. I told I you when to the you, calls came up, I right? Said to, I said to the governor, I said, man, you're popular in Montclair. We got a few guys up. And you're like, no, 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 Evan, I'm not popular in Montclair. No, there's no chance. <laughs> you know, in, in a state like in, in my state in 2013, when I won 19 out of 21 counties and got 61% of the vote, you know, I lost Montclair. So, you they know. They don't like you there. No, no, no. And the, the, the editorial page editor of the largest newspaper lives in Montclair. I mean, this is a this is a town that... Let's just say to be charitable, leans leftward. Shout out to the majority report for that clip from a long time ago. But let me also be clear about this. The same crowd that demands we keep politics out of sports is the same one that partakes. Don't ever forget that still image of Chris Christie hugging Jerry Jones in the owner's box during a playoff game. They say an image is worth a thousand words that's maybe worth a million. The jokes write themselves at this point, but that is the reason why Chris Christie is going to bat for the Dallas Cowboys, because in essence, he's going to bat for Jerry Jones, who has a history of his own. If you can and are willing, please become a paid member here at TYT Sports. And or go to tyt.com slash join. In addition, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Calling out elite people in comedy should be the rule of thumb. I think Donald Trump's hair is actually another creature. Yeah. <laughs> the hair's like going, good night, Donald. Good night, Donald. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it goes out. It goes out and makes money while he's asleep. Yeah. There is something about punching down that feels taboo, and punching up is the way to go. Crack's not really my thing, but if it was, it would be fine if I was on that side. Wow. Oh, Don Jr.'s on coke. We won with poorly educated. I love the poorly educated. I'm a very stable genius. It is very important the work that the Jordan Kleppers are doing the work that the Good Liars are doing, the work that our team here at the Turks are doing, and many more. What he does, he secretly puts the marker on the end of the putter, and then he looks like he's marking it, but really, now the mark is three feet closer. That's a way easier putt. He cheats a lot. That if you cheat at golf, you cheat at life. The saying goes for Donald Trump.